it's Saturday lunchtime and this morning I was quite alert had quite a good night's sleep did wake up a few times but I think I slept quite well and so I decided to get up and go and do my double clean today instead of tomorrow as I normally would um, and I went out quite early it was about half past eight so I was back in time for lunch and today I decided to make the use of the oven so I decided to do one of those hunters pies from Morrison's that I bought I think it was last week or the week before might have been a couple of weeks ago and I decided to make a cake as well so I did my pie and I've made a, a nice big pile of mash to go with it because that felt like a, a Saturday lunchtime it, the weather's really dull again no sun again and I just felt like it was a really nice comfort meal I don't often do meals like that so it's nice to have it as a change and I decided to make a cake because I've eaten all my crumble now <clears throat> and I decided to do my usual budget cake recipe and I've added to it the last of the jar of mince meat that I made my mince pies with a couple of weeks ago uh, which is a really nice combination actually it works really well and I chopped up some orange peel which I had in the freezer so I've made this fabulous uh, like I guess it's got a Christmassy feel to it but I make these all year anyway and I discovered in the cupboard that I have one more of those big jars of mince meat so that's good and then normally what happens in New Year or even before Christmas is that you start to see all the mince meat and things being discounted in the shops and that's how I've always bought them so I'm hoping I can stash up around the end of the year or new year when I'm back and then I can have a stash for the year which would be really nice we'll see what happens so Saturday is quite quiet then I've I've done my weekend chores already which is pretty good um, in a couple of days I think it is it's my 30 day review of my walking pad so I'm gonna start doing a post today a separate post giving my review of how the month has gone and then I'm going to add to it a couple of other measurements uh, on actually on the day what will be the 30 days and that's going to be the energy usage and I think I am going to weigh myself and just see I don't think anything would have changed because 30 days is too soon um, I feel more energized I feel a bit more limber um, in my mind I feel like I don't feel as stodgy I don't feel like that I look as stodgy I feel a bit trimmer but whenever that happens I weigh and think oh I'm bound to have lost a few pounds and very often I've actually put them on so I don't know what happens there anyway so I'm going to do a proper review of that that will be out before this week in a life um, but I hope you enjoy it anyway so Saturday is kind of quiet I have some admin to do I've made um, a sale on Shopify so thank you for that if that was you and I can get that organized and I'm still making bracelets and things that I um, was talking about recently and I've made a behind the scenes of making those for my other channel as well so you can follow my other YouTube channel if you're interested in the behind the scenes of me making things that go in my shop so that's today I was listening to a, a podcast this morning and they were reviewing um, daylight bulbs and SAD bulbs and the, the, the light things that help fill in the light in the winter and it's a really nice idea and I, my mum's had one for many years and swears by it but my god see the price of those things you can get cheaper versions if you go to the main site where they get sold which is called Lumin they have all different types going up to about 300 pounds I think they are 
and at the budget end they have these they're almost like lamps but they're like it looks like a tablet or like an A4 piece of paper size but a tablet on a little stand and it puts out 10,000 lumens whatever it is uh, which is quite good but apparently the further you away you are from the light the less you actually get so they did an experiment on this podcast um, with you like 20 or 30 centimeters away from it and then a meter and the difference was vast and you need x number of lumens to actually for to actually make a difference and they went, if you were a meter away it went down to something like 400 lumens or something and you need something like at least 2000 for it to be good and i looked at the cheaper ones which were 50 60 pounds and you needed to be like 20 centimeters away from these things which is a very small distance so you literally got your head right next to the blooming thing and not having the money for a two three hundred pound one i'm just gonna have to manage without and um you just need to be outside apparently even in winter when it's a day like today where it's really overcast you just need to get your eye on the light and be as close to the window as possible uh, which at least i can do although it's not it's fine for things like recording because when I'm doing things like this I need to be as close to the window as possible because the rooms are really dark but it's really light at the windows. So this sort of thing is actually really good because you look at this and you think oh that's quite a light day today but if I moved halfway into the room it would be a lot darker. So at least I have my vantage points at windows and I can, I can do recording in natural light which I much prefer. The overhead lights are rubbish for it. So that's something else that I probably won't be doing. Um, what else have I been doing? The TV stuff. I keep meaning to talk about the TV shows that I've watched recently because I know a lot of you don't have TVs and don't like TV. Um, I like a good TV series and there aren't that many around, are there? Uh, we've got the new season of Ben Fogel revisiting his new lives in the wild that's pretty good seeing where people are i think it's 10 years on um i recently watched binge watched literally binge watched both seasons of alma's not normal i'm always really far behind on tv things mostly because they come out on streaming services and i don't have any of that but then there are places where you can download stuff and they've been trailering alma's not normal for ages and i thought that looks like my kind of humor and it's set in the area where I live and so I downloaded both seasons and honestly it's just so funny but it has some really interesting messages behind it as well so if you like a bit of uh, northern humour and you like your hum humour a little bit cynical that's a good one um, what else have I watched I did watch Chaos Chaos was really good that's the one that's the modern day Greek gods thing. That was pretty good. I watched Show Trial. Show Trial was good. I like a good crime type drama if it's well done. Most of them don't hold my attention, but that was good. And Ludwig. Really enjoyed Ludwig. I wasn't going to watch it, but it started... Uh, I think it started the week before I went down to my parents last. And I watched it and thought, oh, I'll try that and my mum wanted to watch it she's a big fan of david mitchell and so the two weeks that i was there we watched it when i was down and then i watched the rest after i got back that was really good really pleased there's going to be a second season of that um i can't think of anything else most of the time in the evening i don't have the tv on until the on until the evening and it's usually background when i'm sitting here under my blanket with my hot water bottle doing surveys and I'll kind of drift in and out of whatever's on the TV. I'm not very good at just sitting and watching a programme. Something has to be really good for me to uh, to actually focus on because I get very distracted. Two things I'm going to try and watch are Rivals. I keep hearing goodish things about Rivals, which is the adaptation of the Jilly Cooper novel. Um, I watched Riders when they did that one and it was absolutely dreadful. But I'm willing to give this a go. So I've downloaded the first two episodes. So we'll see what happens there. 
and um, what's what's the other thing? I think it's called Everyone Else Burns or something like that. And I've watched I think the first couple of episodes and it's okay. I think I'm gonna give it another go. I did download the whole season and that's about um, a religious family who uh, the, the dad thinks the world's going to come to an end and all that sort of thing. And it is a comedy, it's not a serious drama type thing, it's a comedy. It has some amusing elements to it so I'm going to keep giving that a go. But all these things I can get for, for download on free on the internet. Where there's a will, there's a way. You don't have to have a streaming service to get decent programmes. You just need to know where to find them and have an internet connection. Even not a very good one like mine, because I only have 4Gs. Anyway, so that's Saturday really. That's my almost middle of November update. And I'm going to crack on and do this review of my 30 days with my treadmill, my walking pad. And... Um, That'll be an interesting one for me to do. That'll keep me busy today. Excellent. Right, so that's that's the uh, that's the weekend update. Oh dear. And then I'm just going to do some more crafting and make some stuff because every day's a work day here. Good morning. It is Sunday. It is Remembrance Sunday. Looks like the weather's going to hold off. They're not going to get rained on. Uh, right, so this morning I have been over to Morrison's at half nine for ten o'clock opening as usual. I did my cleaning yesterday, so that's all I've had to go out for today. Um, I've spent £5.86, which is higher than usual, but there's a reason for that, because I've bought one full price product. So let's have a look at what I've got. I have got a lovely big tub of Lancashire Farm yoghurt. This is a really nice Greek yoghurt. Unfortunately, this is the fat-free version, which usually means there's some other sort of rubbish in it, although I don't know if they do that in these. Let's have a look. Uh, do we have any actual ingredients? Oh, here we are. No, it suggests that there's no dodgy ingredients in there, which is good. This was £2.85, down to 86p. And that's a one kilogram tub. This is really good. Let me see it in the light. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Right, so that's that. I've got a dented tin. This is Heinz Pasta Shapes. Um, I don't know whether this is for children or not, probably. But it was £1.25, down to 32p. Spaghetti hoops on toast are always fun. Uh, something I don't usually buy, uh, Peter's Yard flatbreads. They're more like, they're not proper flatbreads, they're like all crispy things. But I have some hummus in the fridge and these are nice dipped in that. These were £2 down to a pound. Um, and I think these will last in the cupboard quite a while as well. I shouldn't have bought these. Save his crumpets. Anyway, they were 45p down to 22p for a pack of six. These will probably go in the freezer as a, you know, maybe I've got an evening where I don't have anything for dessert and I just fancy something and I can have a couple of crumpets or something. More eggs, loads of eggs today. We have, these are classed as free range. They, they were £1.95 down to 59p. So I bought three boxes. And the one full price item I bought, which I would never normally buy, is Jack Link's Beef Jerky. It's a 25 gram packet for £1.69. And not gonna lie, there's almost nothing in there. The only reason I bought this is because it's currently free on Checkout Smart. Um, so I will get the full value of that back. And these things, if I if I dice that up really small and stick that into a stir fry or a casserole or something similar, that'll do the job. So always happy with a freebie if I can use it. So that is the total of my Sunday morning shop. That's not too bad. Got a, a variety of things. And um, yeah, so as usual, I will put up the full price there. 
I will put up the discount and I will include the fact that those, um, that beef jerky is a freebie. I'll include that within the full price and then the discount uh, because that's another £1.69 off. And that's it. Uh, that'll do for now, I guess. So for anyone that, won that wondered, the, uh, the sushi hoodie is back in action. It was two degrees last night and I don't know what it is now but it's blooming cold out there and uh, this is nice to snuggle up in on the sofa of an evening with a hot water bottle. I love it. Uh, right, so Tuesday evening clean done. There were several people still in the office having a meeting so I didn't get to do the whole office so it was a bit shorter this time. Um, and I also went to Morrison's as usual and I have a few things. Um, mostly okay, nothing too dangerous, maybe. Uh, first thing, a good thing, broccoli, my favourite. Uh, was 79p, 20p for that, one single head of broccoli. Um, I also got some more of those Peter's Yard flatbreads, which were really nice dipped in hummus. I don't have any hummus now, but I am happy to have a few more of these in stock. These were £2 down to 50p, and I think the last time I picked up one, it was a pound, so this has gone down even further. They obviously couldn't shift that, nobody wanted it. Now, because I have my Wednesday clean tomorrow, I'm not going to be back home till at least half two. By the time I've done that, no time for lunch, or to make lunch anyway. Um, so I've bought myself a... Um, I've bought a BLT this time. It was three pence cheaper than the usual baguette I have. And I'm a bit bored of those now. So this was £2.85 down to 72p. And the last thing I got, shouldn't have got, and I did. Don't care. Donuts, strawberry donuts this time. The caramel ones I had last time actually were really decadent. I mean, that's how they get you. It's the sugar and the preservatives and the flavourings. My God, they were actually quite good. I'm a sucker for food, and that's why I have to be really careful. So these were £1, down 25p. There's five in there, so that's fun. And that's it. That's all I got. It wasn't very much in today, but that's fine. I don't mind not spending the money. I have plenty in at the moment. Um, that's the lot. That's Tuesday evening. So I'm going to snuggle up on the sofa with a nice hot cup of tea. I am going to watch... Uh, money saving expert on ITV oh, maybe jump. and then I'm going to watch Ben Fogel's New Lives in the Wild Revisited and then there's something on at 10 I'm going to have a look at anyway so I'm going to be under blankets taking surveys all evening or what's left of the evening it's now 20 to 8 so that's all fun so that whole shop came to £1.67 and as usual, I will put all the information up there so you can see what I would have spent if I had bought with this at full price and how much I've saved by buying it on yellow stickers. So, catch you soon. Bye bye. Good morning. It's Wednesday. It's cold. Two degrees last night. been a really quiet week from a day-to-day -day perspective and I know that because I've just if you will see the two bits that came before this I had two Morrison's Hall videos back to back so that was one Sunday and one Tuesday evening I have recorded some other stuff in between so there's a hike which I think we'll come after this and I also did another frugal recipe which I think you'll like oh it was so good I'm not going to give anything away <laughs> it was so good cheered me up nice winter tasty fun things one thing I'm putting off that I really need to get into is the big C word Christmas I'm putting it off and putting it off and no idea what to do 
my mum put in one request for something that she would like, um, which was easy to sort because it's from a company that I can only buy from online, so I bought that and it's arrived. I don't know what to do about anybody else. I think the kids, my brother's kids, are just going to get art stuff. don't know what to do for my dad. My dad is so difficult to buy for. Last year was easy because I bought him the heated vest which he still loves and it still works so that was a real winner but I don't have any tricks up my sleeve this year. I don't know what to get him. He'll get a bottle of wine. He doesn't need a bottle of wine. When my dad wants wine he just goes and buys wine but I don't know what else to do and I'm going to buy the wine at Sainsbury's with Sainsbury's Nectar Points and I think Shopmium's offering a discount on Diablo so I'm going to get it with that because I'll make I think three quid back or something um, so there's that <laughs> I'm making presents for my best friend this year her birthday is two days before Christmas, so I'm making her birthday present. No idea what to do for Christmas, and I don't buy Christmas presents for the rest of her family because I can't afford it. So I don't buy anything for a partner, and I don't buy anything for her boys. They are my godsons, but I'm going to be honest with you, they get everything they want. The youngest, it was his 16th back in September, and he wanted a new gaming console, which cost I think she said it was like a thousand pounds or something or well, that's what they were going to spend on him and he got it so they don't need anything from me anything I could buy them they don't care all they're interested in is gaming and gaming I don't know what else they do really um... <laughs> so you know they get everything they want so I'm not going to bother and I haven't done for a probably four or five years now, since really since I moved to the flat and money got tight. I can't do it, but it's like another, it's then like another three people I have to think of for Christmas. And it's a lot. So, I don't know, I feel like I'm running out of time now. I'm recording this on the middle of November and normally I'm really organized. And I don't even have a proper list written. It's crept up really fast. I don't know why. Maybe I've been a bit busier than usual. I don't know. So I'm going off to my Wednesday morning clean. On the way back, I've got to get petrol. So I'm going to go into... Ooh, Sainsbury's petrol is looking quite cheap at the moment. That's nice. Right, we'll, we'll fill up today because I haven't filled up since... I don't know, beginning of October when I was last down at my parents'. And I'm going to go in and get that bottle of wine. And I'm also going to have a look and see what they've got in the kids section in case they have any art kits and things. Because anything I can get on Nectar Points helps me tip the budget. I know what my budget is for Christmas. Anything I can get for free on top of that is an addition. So if I could buy all my brother's kids presents in Sainsbury's that means all their presents were free if that makes any sense so the bottle of wine for my dad if I can get it in Sainsbury's get it on nectar points and get the three quid back from Shopmium means I got it for free and I cashed back in three pounds worth of nectar points if that makes sense and that means that I can tip that on to the Christmas budget again and means I can afford something else if I see something else that's a little bit more expensive that I wouldn't normally buy because as long as I stick to the actual physical monetary budget anything that's a free is, is a bonus so that's how that's how that works and that's how I've been doing it for a long time actually Ever since I discovered Nectar Points and Shopmium and Green Genie and all those things. So, 
I don't want to wipe out all my nectar points because they're a useful emergency addition if I need to buy something for the kitchen, for food, for eating and I can't get it anywhere else like I haven't seen I know let's say I haven't seen potatoes in Morrison's on discount for three months and I really need potatoes this is just an example of numbers I can go into Sainsbury's and get them for free on nectar points so there's that that's how that works is the car warm enough I need some heating it's so cold So that's my thinking, and I need to get stuck into it now because I'm rapidly running out of time. Scary. It's a shame because Christmas should be really like fun. I love going down to see everybody. I love all the stuff we get up to, catching up with other friends that I know down there, etc., etc. But there's this little bit of a, a, a cloud hanging over you because you've you've got to you feel that like you've got to make the financial purchases to make Christmas Day the thing. And then once that's over, you can relax because it's been done. So anyway, I don't usually get wound up about it, but I think this year's been pretty crazy. Money's worse. Politics is all over the place. And I think there's just lots and lots of things going on, which mean that you kind of look at everything and go, oh dear, don't fancy that this year. We'll be fine. I need to get on and finish my best friend's Christmas present, which is going to be a matching necklace and bracelet, like she needs any more jewellery. But it's handmade stuff. I mean, she she usually hand makes most of my presents, and she has done for a while because she's really crafty. And so, you know, it's become a reciprocal thing. I started off by making her a set of my coasters and we we kind of do it that way because I mean it's not like it's a cheaper present or a free present because there's your time if I worked out how much time I spend making those things it would probably work out more expensive than if I just bought some tat I found in a shop so I prefer to do it this way anyway and I can make things a bit more personalized which is nice Anyway, so that's my thoughts for Wednesday morning. I'm going to do my clean and enjoy someone else's central heating for a few hours, which will be nice. My hands are frozen this morning. Right, catch you later. It's 9am on Thursday. I've had a request on Find a Grave to come and locate a resting place for somebody over there and it is an absolutely glorious morning. And I couldn't wait to get out, you see, this is what the sun does. If it's a gorgeous day, I want to be out in it. It's fresh, the woodland smells damp, which is lovely. There is no wind at all, so it's only 8 degrees, but it doesn't feel cold at all. Absolutely beautiful. Just arrived and I just need to find The area that I need. I've got the grave section and number and the name, which is always helpful. So I just 
easy to find that. And then we'll go on a little walk around the perimeter and say hello to nature. Unfortunately, there was no gravestone today. Just a, in fact, a whole line of empty plots with no stones at all. So I've taken pictures of the relevant area and I'll put those up. And I'll send a message to the requester and just let them know that their relative has no gravestone. Instead, I give you five minutes of very tranquil cemetery.
it is really serene here today. It's really beautiful. There's frost and dew on the grass. And all the cobwebs have got dew on them so you can see them all hanging between the stones. There's steam rising up off some of the gravestones where the sun is warming them up but they're still really cold. And there's the bird life is everywhere. Got the parakeets and I can hear nut hatches and woodpeckers and crows and all sorts going on. Robins, wrens. I mean, this is the place to come if you want to get away from the noise of people and you don't want to go too far. It's not like having to go, having to go hiking up into the moors. You can come here and just practically be alone. Um, there is a bit of traffic noise in the background, you can hear it, but that's pretty much everywhere now. I did a reservoir hike the other day and the constant sound of traffic in the background. We're surrounded by it. So enjoy this little walk around. Then gotta go back to work. Got things to do today. I need to finish the bracelets that I'm gonna get up on my shop. I'll put a couple of pictures here so you can see what they look like. It's a new batch, new design. So I'm feeling very productive today, I have to say. Early start, out for a walk gets me in the mood for being busy.